fact, black and white or thinking, black. which we're thinking psychoanalytically, why shouldn't we? Yes. Is, uh, <laughs> is what's called the paranoid schizoid position. And it always is an act of emotional regulation. Whenever we split, as we know folks who struggle with some, some personality disorders do, splitting is a way of, of solving the storm inside of us. You are all bad and evil. To be able to speak those words gives a momentary lapse in the turmoil that is you. It offers a clear indication and path for you to follow to, to steer you away from the things that could be sucking you in. So mm -hmm. black and white thinking always is, and that is, a, that is not a positive form of hate. Um, and I was sort of thinking about it, as we were, and I haven't really thought this through, but mm -hmm. if we were to, um, if we wanted, let's say, um, um, uh, Nazis or the KKK, if we wanted them to get better at hate, the questions they may ask themselves is, first off, why do I feel this way? Why do I feel that the world isn't fair? And if they were to start there, then coming to an easy solution, well, it's because there are these degenerate people who are different colors, skin color than me, have invaded my country. It could be, wait a minute, there are, maybe there are systemic problems that have kept me from being able to make my potential. That there are, things are rigged in a fashion, or there have been a series of things out of my control that I need to be able to address and understand so that I might be able to advance, as opposed to falling off back on this negative hate. They, they're not drawing a boundary that allows them to self-care. They're simply expelling and projecting into someone else the very things they should own. And that, that's that, that's that trap. They're not good at hate at all. Okay. They're, they're lousy at it. Well, it, it, that, that's a very different way to look at it. So I'm glad you, you kind mm -hmm. of brought that up. And the issue that it, it, to me is that you, and it gets back to a lot of things that we've said in, in various <laughs> issues of really that self-awareness and that reflection and then taking time to really to pause and really think what's going on and why am I feeling in this mm -hmm. way and what's going on mm -hmm. um, that we don't often do. It's more reactive. And also, I think what what we talked about too is projection. Mm -hmm. It seems like that's just an easy go-to yeah. uh, defense mechanisms to hate others. I'm okay on this side. Everybody else, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. it, and it's it is remarkably effective. I, th I think I may have used this as an example here before, but I was uh, at one of these leadership things not long ago, and I I came into the room, and they assigned you with seats. This is at the university. Right. And I go and I sit down on my what now? They do that a lot at universities. <laughs> assign okay, so, seats. So I'm suddenly I'm, I'm sitting <laughs> and I, I look around and I see everybody around me in their tables. They seem to be talking. Right. And no one's talking to me at my table. Oh. And so I'm like, you know what? And I looked at the table. And, oh, maybe it's, you know they sent me with a lame bunch of people. <laughs> Over there, those are the cool people. Right. right. Look people at the how much lame. how much fun the and cool people are, and yeah, I'm here with these losers. Yeah, they're losers. <laughs> yeah, you know, and that is a that is from a defensive perspective. That is a I was I was experiencing some emotional dysregulation. I had been moved outside of my euthymic window. And the act of projection was a, um, a, a quick and reflexive act of homeostasis. The mm -hmm. problem is not me. I don't have to address this. Right, right. They suck. It, over there is better. Okay. And, 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 and there's some relief in that momentarily, <laughs> it, it, at least it in some way, well, yeah, I well, guess. And, and so, he's, but, uh, so I, I sat there and I think, okay, well, hold on a second. Something's going on here. You know, you're right. Everybody else is talking. Uh -huh. And then I realized. I have my back turned to my people at my table. My chair is facing this way. Okay. And they're carrying okay. on the conversation. So I turn my chair to them, and then suddenly we all begin <laughs> oh, to talk. Look, a group and I'm like, here. they're not actually so bad. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. And But for a brief moment, the solution I came up with, which, you know, short term had a wonderful short term benefit, mm -hmm. I, but it kept me from suffering in a productive way. And I think part of the key to, to positive hate is there has to be a suffering. There has to be some understanding of what are these intense feelings welling inside of you. And that requires you, you have to get burnt a little. You have to be able to face that fire to some degree as opposed to simply projecting it into someone else, which is so reflexive and so easy to do. Mm -hmm.